All right then, so the electronic shaker bottle by Mixer. So this has a electronic motor at the bottom that mixes your protein shakes or whatever you wanna put in there for you. So we're gonna crack this bad boy open and take a look. You can see there, comes in three parts. You got the lid, the shaker bottle itself, and you have the motorized bot base down the bottom there. So let's have a little look inside the box. All right then, so looking at it, it is a decent size. There's my hand. You can see it's a good size there. Um, it's got markings on it. Let's have a look at these. And there it is. We got 500 uh, milliliters or 18 ounces. That is the size of the bottle. So let's take a look at the actual construction. I mean, it feels like a good quality bottle. It's got a rubber seal around the top in there. It feels nice to just screw on and off. It doesn't really turn much, only a little bit, but it feels nice and secure. You can definitely feel the rubber uh, engaging on this and um, creating the seal. So it feels like a good, it's gonna get a good seal on that. We got the pop top there. Again, nice soft rubber going around the rim. Feels like a, yeah, you could definitely feel the resistance of the rubber, so nice good seal on that. I have no worries that uh, about leakage so far. All feels well and good. Bottle itself, let's just pop the bottom off. Does it twist off there? There's the base, we'll take a look at that in a sec. This is the bottom, all sealed up, so your drink won't leak, or it shouldn't anyway. And you can see in the middle there, the plastic stirrer, which spins and creates a vortex. Very nice, I don't think this will come out because you can't really get your hands in there, it just stays in there. I've actually been using this uh, for a week or two and I will say that it's quite easy to clean to be honest. Once you finish, just rinse it all out, wash it out with hot water. It says it's not dishwasher safe, so don't put it in the dishwasher. So this is the base, that's all it, all it is basically is a mortar that spins these little the spindle at the bottom. These four dots engage into the bottom of that and obviously cause that to spin and create a vortex. So the base itself, decent weight on it. I've got batteries in. The way you get the batteries in is this rubber bottom comes off. Pull it out there, you can see. You don't want to get this wet, don't put this in the water, whatever you do. Because although it's rubberized, it's not, um, it's not sealed, water sealed or whatever. So I've got the two batteries there. I've thrown in, and that's basically it. So check the batteries in, pop the cover back on, and then you've got the button. This also pops off. I thought this was a charging port, but it's not, it's just a switch, so leave that on. It's a shame that that pops off so easily though, because you might lose that, but you know, should be okay. Once it's in, it's kind of in. So you, you press the button, and you can see there spinning around. It's quite quiet too. It's not a loud motor, it's nice and quiet. So let me pop this on the bottom here. You can see this in action. You can see it spinning around there. So it's shaped that particular way so that it can create a vortex. So let's get some fluid in here and uh, see how it performs in practice. All right, so I have got water in there. I have got just under 400 mil. So if I turn this on, you can see there, if I move my hands, I move that around there. There's the vortex. I got no lid on. You can see the vortex there, it's completely dry in the middle. I can put my finger right in, right down to the spindles. Can't reach that far, but I could. If I could do it, it would be dry. Dry finger. Let me turn that off. Now the way you're supposed to put the protein in is have that spinning with the lid off and then you put the protein in while it's spinning. That's how it tells you in instructions to do it. So don't put the protein in before you've got the vortex going. So let's uh, ch chuck some protein in and take a look at the mix. All right then, so I got my protein in in my cup here and turn the light on. All right, so here we go. Oop. Ooh. 
All right, so as you can see, it's not like a blender where it makes a mess. It actually keeps it all contained in the cup. I mean, I did see a bit pop out when I first dropped it in, but I was using one hand, so it wasn't really steady. So I'm holding the camera in the other hand, but you know, you can see it doesn't make a mess even with the lid off. So it only says to do it for about 10 to 15 seconds. So that should now be creamy and ready to drink. Now obviously you can have the lid on if you want or you know whatever, it doesn't matter. Mmm, delicious. Alright, so now it's done. You can see all the residue in there. Let's give it a swirl. Now, like I said, you shouldn't get the base wet, so I'm not gonna pour water all on the outside, just the inside for now. And I'm gonna turn it on. right up on the rim there, look, look at that. I'm gonna knock it off, I'm gonna tip it out. And you can see it's nice and clean, I'm gonna do it again. Should do this with warm water, really. But for demonstration purposes, I love that whirlwind, that's awesome. So anyway, so yeah, cleaning it is gonna be easy. We can see in there that it's rinsed off nice and clean. Obviously, put some warm water and some um, washing up liquid in there as well. Take the base off and give it a proper wash, obviously. But, you know, just rinsing it out does a good job of getting everything out. As you know what protein can be like, it can be clumpy sometimes and stick. And I was worried about that happening with the spindle inside, but it seems to not be an issue. I mean, I'm cleaning this out straight away. Whether, you know, if you take took us to the gym or whatever, and it was uh, dirty for an hour or two, and then you cleaned it up, maybe it'd be a little tougher to get off, but shouldn't be an issue, I wouldn't have thought, because like I said, you can just put some water in there, warm water with some soap, or washing up liquid, and then put the base on, give it a spin, and it should basically clean itself. It's practically self-cleaning <laughs> in that respect. So anyway, I'm gonna leave the video there. Hope that gives you a better look at the, the mixer, and I'll see you again. Ciao, blah.